Well, welcome back to another video of mine. Uh, it's Friday evening. I, it's about six o'clock, a little after six. This is uh, Alocasia poly, AKA uh, Amazonica. I've had several of these. I've been att uh, attracted to the funky look, the way they look, the striking back color. But all alocasias in my possession has not done well. I've killed a lot. I want to say this is probably my fourth, fifth uh, poly. The first one I gave away because it went dormant. And surprisingly, I paid um, the same price as this one. And so, long story short, uh, alocasia poly, uh, well draining soil. Um, indirect sunlight uh, temperature always got to be consistent I got some uh, sunburn here uh, hopefully the roots are well and it'll come back I'm not too concerned about it uh, being dormant or dying off ultimately it comes back um, back up I don't really have a whole lot to say about the alocasias only the fact that I really have a love and hate relationship with the uh, alocasias I hate the fact that they are spider mites and um, they don't really do well in my possession but I love them because of the way they look they're really different um, this one's almost like a weird looking um, uh, African mass I believe also known as but uh, just a short video on this particular one Not, nothing too fancy I don't really have too much to say indirect sunlight humidity high up your 60s and 70s uh well draining soil rain and drain is the concept um i mean i know it but they just don't do well with me and it's because of my environment i have too much uh direct sunlight and then during the winter it's right now it's too cold i will get that to under control where it will um, be nice and warm during the winter and then I'll have indirect sunlight. These will, this will be in my outdoor tropical plant, so I'm not too concerned, but uh, again, this is your Alocasia poly, Amazonica, African mass. Uh, do I recommend this? No, I really don't. I really don't like um, Alocasias. I really dislike Alocasias. Uh, if you can, um, stay away and it's probably better for you. If you're just getting into the hobby just stick with your um, monsteras and philodendrons you'll be better off some of those um, pothos do though do attract a lot of spider mites and uh, aph uh, aphids and your bugs but uh, this particular alocasia and most of your alocasias I don't know what it is they do uh, love spider mites love them so I do not recommend this plant, and even though it's uh, striking, it's a uh, conversation piece, um, it brings people together, but avoid it at all costs. It is not a good plant. Again, thank you to all my um, current and new subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, it does encourage me. I, uh, I don't know why it does, but uh, I do feed off of it, unfortunately. Uh, but nonetheless, thank you again, everybody. Happy holidays. Uh